Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Over here at the Ghost 16, looking at yet another very long, powerful storm system moving through the, the central plains of the United States last night during the overnight hours and in the late evening hours of December 10th into December 11th. The storm system here spawned several tornadoes spanning over 400 miles. You can see the multiple tornadoes here over at hailreports.com. At least 30 tornadoes reported last night, and that's not counting the ones that could have possibly been out in a rural area that went unreported. One of the main tornadoes that went through Mayfield, Kentucky, was on the ground for over 200 miles itself. The storm damage extends from Kentucky all the way up into Ohio and quite possibly further. They're still trying to assess the damage from the multi-state, multi-tornado event in December, and it's not even tornado season. But looking over here at Zoom Earth, you can kind of see the setup of what occurred last night, late on the 10th, early on December 11th, the worst possible time for a tornado anywhere on earth is is during the darkness of night especially when people are sleeping just was not a good situation at all and they're still trying to assess the damage today right now as i do this video again that covered multiple states and you can see here at zoom earth there was kind of a classic spring setup where you have the collision of, of leftover cold air from the winter and warm air from the upcoming spring well we're in winter now and we shouldn't really have a whole lot of of warm air colliding with cold air but that was the case and it spawned several tornadoes as i step this forward hour by hour from yesterday evening into the overnight hours of last night you can see the the storm system develop and it definitely coincides with what we see here over at the ghost 16. these are the visible clouds and they spawned multiple tornadoes you can see the cold air right there coming in and that's what created all of those unusual tornadoes for the month of december that is an unbelievable outbreak that created a staggering amount of power outages associated with this tornado outbreak extending from Michigan to Texas. Starting up here in Michigan, 92,000 customers without electricity as I do this video, 70,000 customers in Indiana, 12,000 in Illinois, 45,000 in Ohio, 64,000 in Kentucky, 131,000 in Tennessee, 19,000 in Arkansas, 14,000 in Texas, and then another storm system out here in the Pacific Northwest. They too keep coming one after another after another. 35,000 customers in Washington and 32,000 customers in Oregon for a total of 514,000 customers without electricity occupying 11 11 states and that's right now as I do this video this video here was sent in by Magpie taken by Daniel out of northwestern Arkansas a community called Osceola Arkansas you're going to see what looks like a wedge tornado forming right down here in this area I'm not sure if it's the tornado that was on the ground for 200 miles but you're clearly going to see a large tornado taking shape right here off in the distance see it right here beyond that house see a dark wedge starting to to touch the ground and you're going to see where i pause it right here that is a classic large wedge tornado and more than likely that was one of many wedge tornadoes reading some of the reports over here at hailreports.com and you guys can click on the link down below and check out all of these if you'd like and most if not all of these tornado reports that you see here on this map have a common theme and that was reports of a very powerful tornado on the ground extending from northern Mississippi through Tennessee, Kentucky, lower Indiana, even up in central Illinois, far eastern Missouri. Just an unbelievable scene last night. And again, they're still trying to figure out exactly what the damage is through multiple states from over 30 tornadoes last night. Just an unbelievable situation that's not over yet. You can see here at the GO-16, this storm system is still moving from southwest to northeast. I don't know if it still has the same potential as it had last night, but nevertheless, it's still organized and it is moving right now through the northeastern part of the United States. 
clear up into Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. So if you guys are in those areas, just be prepared because you never know. These tornadoes could spawn in a moment's notice. Got a photo here by Katie out of Newport, Kentucky, who noticed off in the distance last night. This is before dark. And she said this is the storm system that came through Kentucky. And she said it reminded her of a mountain in the sky. And you can see what looks like a very large shelf cloud off in the distance moving her direction. She was up in northern Kentucky in the Newport area. She said they didn't get a whole lot of damage up there like they did down in South Central Kentucky. Here's another view of that ominous looking cloud as it's rolling to the northeast from her vantage point. And that's a classic setup right there. You can see the, the warm air and cold air colliding. And those atmospheric changes created a large amount of out-of-season tornadoes. Again, this is December. You don't normally see this map looking this way in December. In fact, there's so much information pouring in from that storm system last night. It's having a, a hard time getting it all on the map. It will not upload the... There we go. It just uploaded the, the wind reports. Look at how it overwhelms the map and again these are just the reports these are wind reports not counting the tornado reports and some of these areas could have had tornadoes as well and this storm system is not done yet hopefully we won't see any more tornadoes but this thing is still organized spans over a thousand miles and it's moving rather quickly now to the north northeast again 11 states with power outages half a million customers right now without electricity also i wanted to mention comet leonard in the eastern sky if you guys have binoculars and it's clear in your area if you have clear skies in the early morning hours you got to get up around 4 a.m but if you look in the eastern sky in this direction right here you'll see comet leonard above the sun before the sun comes up in the due eastern sky it was visible this morning if you had no clouds it will be visible again tomorrow morning it's a it's a green comet you'll see it with binoculars or obviously a a decent telescope doesn't even have to be a a large telescope just a average backyard telescope or a set of binoculars and you should be able to to catch a glimpse again if there's no clouds in the sky of comet leonard due east also in this video i've got a brand new picture slideshow new sky phenomena photos sent from all around the world photo here by joaquin out of miami florida of a big jumbo halo in the sky around the sun from south florida looking out over the atlantic ocean jacob from monroe north carolina couple of very intense sun dogs on either side of another sun halo. Eric out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. That is around the moon. Big halo in the sky around the moon. Don't see those very often. Photo here sent in by our friend Mary Hall out of South Haven, Michigan of a bright pink sky with a intense double-decker rainbow. Paul out of Queensland, Australia. Yet another very intense double-decker rainbow. Photo here by Mike A. out of Fort Dodge, Iowa of a fiery orange sky behind some windmills cortez colorado greg and sandra yet another fiery orange sunrise photo here sent in by jay out of england who noticed a couple of circles in the sky that just simply looked out of place here's another one by chris m out of indiana you can see it off in the distance there a circle that doesn't fit in with the rest of the the natural looking clouds this one too looked out of place photo here sent in by sal o of a strange cloud not sure of the location but he noticed what looked like some sort of a praying mantis type of a cloud up in the sky i'm telling you you can't make this stuff up steve k out of iowa noticed a big grid up in the sky this was early in the morning from Iowa, photo sent in by Steve K. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. Don't forget to order your brand new 2022 Sky Phenomena photo calendar simply by clicking on this banner here, or you can find the link down in the description box that will take you here where you can order your wall calendar or you can order a desk calendar this year if you like. Either way, they're both good quality calendars and they'll mail them directly to your home. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.